Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look at one of the most anticipated games in 2023, and I finally finished with Starfield. Bethesda RPG games from the famed developer Todd Howard led to so much hype in his creations from Fallout, Skyrim, to even now with Starfield. Loving sci-fi games with the likes of Mass Effect, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. I'll be honest, I never got into Fallout and did complete Skyrim and love the character created in that universe. I still have to say, after the story campaign, I never did return. I was a bit scared to revisit that type of RPG as I have heard you will either love it or hate it. I'm not in either camp, but do have my reservations about this game. Starfield was developed and published by Bethesda and released on Windows PC and Xbox Series X and S in 2023. Using their in-house creation engine, this first or third person action RPG features an open world experience within the Milky Way galaxy. The story takes place in a futuristic setting where humanity explores the galaxy with different factions as its inhabitants. You play your own customizable character that becomes a part of a bigger picture in the galaxy by touching an unexpected artifact, having it react by changing your destiny. This leads to main campaign in looking for answers. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that- Easy girl. Breathe. This leads to the main campaign in looking for answers, joining a group in search of those answers to something even bigger than I didn't even see coming. The best part of the game is the campaign that I enjoyed as well. The writing and character development was well done as you explore each character interaction, opening deep dialogues with their companions and moving forward into the campaign as you find out the answers. The gameplay when it comes to the action was smooth and fun. I did enjoy exploring, but had more fun when the missions had you run and gun your enemies. No issues here as it was easy to navigate throughout the world. The ship combat was a highlight here as it really is fun and simplistic. Building my ship was super confusing, but I just had fun with space pirates everywhere and docking them. Great idea as its own type of mini game. Tell me we had visitors. We have visitors. Excellent! Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. My biggest issue was the exploration. I hated traveling in quests and looking for the next step in moving on where you will travel to so many places and there are indeed many side quests that you can take a part of. I normally wouldn't have an issue but transversing the world by running around with some of the most tedious and boring experience I have had that would just drain my willingness to continue. The systems in place were micromanaging to the extreme. I would constantly pick up items, sell and repeat so often so that I could just travel faster and started to give up picking up on items at all. I would even drop everything in my ship just so that I could play the game at a decent pace. The visuals are hit and miss. They do seem dated at times and they will surprise you too as well. The worlds did seem to copy and paste as you will see the same cave, cavern, space station all seem eerily similar to one another. Overall, I played the game a lot and then I stopped as I felt I needed to take a break. I returned again to play later to find the campaign, ship battles, gunplay were all sticking factors that got me through. Starfield gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its very addicting storyline, action, and some of the best space battles I have seen, but needs a major overhaul in its system, travel, and just quality of life improvements would go a very long way in making this game so much better. That's it for this look at Starfield. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.